Hi, I'm Jamie Machek, Education Consultant for the Wisconsin Valley Library Service. For this Digital Byte, I'm going to talk about a social media message optimizer, and this is brought to you by CoSchedule. I saw this tool being used on the Super Library Marketing blog, which is by Angela Hirsch, and it was something that she is very excited about. And after I checked it out, I thought it was pretty cool as well. So thank you, Angela. How does this work? What it does is it analyzes your social media posts based on a few factors. You simply add your text to the box and it will show you how effective your post is on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest, etc. And it makes you realize that you just can't copy and paste messages across the board, that you really have to customize your messages based on the social media tool that you are using. So let's see how it works. I am on the WVLS Facebook page, and here is a post that I did last week where we encourage people to share their royal name uh, based on their pet's name, the last thing they ate, and the last thing they bought. So more of a fun, entertaining post. So let's go ahead and grab the text that I used for this one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to the CoSchedule site where you can check on this. So CoSchedule is a um, marketing managing software where you can manage all of your, um, your marketing, which is great and they are the ones who have this free tool, this social media message optimizer. So it asks you to enter your message. So I'm gonna enter my message, and then I'm going to click on score, and because it's text, I'm gonna click the text icon. I'm gonna click on score my message, and then it immediately calculates how I did for that message, or how the post did. So the highest score is 100, and as you can see, for Facebook, it did pretty well. For Instagram, 34, not as well. So then it tells you why or why not it was an effective post. So my overview score is 76. It says I'm looking solid. It grades you on the message type the sentiment, which is the feeling that people get when they look at a social media post or photo or video, um, how many characters it is, um, if you used emojis, and if you used hashtags. So then if I keep scrolling down, it will say that, um, you know, again, I had a, a great message, not good, not the best, but great, which, it, which I will take. <laughs> And it'll talk about your character count, how you, if you refine your character account to 111 characters, you'll get even more engagement. Um, for this post, I did not use any hashtags. Um, Facebook messages without hashtags tend to get the largest reach, so that was good. It has a positive sentiment, so it says you're awesome. It shows um, positivity, and those tend to perform better. And I also used an emoji. So um, Facebook messages that have an emoji also get the most engagement, which is great. And then it talks a little bit about the best days and times to post. Now let's look at um, how I would have did with this in Instagram. Okay. So again, um, We'd want it to be a little bit longer to be effective in Instagram. Had a positive message, but um, no hashtags. Um, in, in Instagram, you want to include about 11 hashtags to increase your engagement. So I didn't do very well <laughs> there. But again, this is a Facebook post. It had a positive sentiment, and I did use an emoji. And Instagram messages with at least three emojis tend to get the most engagement. And then it talks about the best times and days to post on Instagram. That is pretty much how you use the tool. And then if you want to test something else, you just click the start over button and it takes you to the main screen. So I think this could be something effective for us to use as libraries once in a while if we want to see how we're doing with our posts, how we can improve them, and just kind of do that maybe weekly or um, 
every other weekly check on how our social media is performing and how we can best optimize it. So I hope you enjoyed this Digital Byte. If you have a future Digital Byte idea, please contact me and let me know what you're interested in. With that said, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. So long.